Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. So today we're going to make a fireworks animation using Python Turtle. So in this project, we will use randomness in drawing patterns to design our fireworks and a message for the 4th of July. So it just going to pops up some of the fireworks from random places. And then after generating a certain fireworks out, it would perform, it would like shows up, happy 4th of July. So yeah, I just like that. So let's get started. So first of all, we will start by creating a new project and importing the turtle and random libraries. Okay, so we will use these two libraries for drawing and putting the fireworks in the random position. So first of all, we're going to import turtle and import random. Okay, after writing these two codes, uh, we can begin with the general setup of our program. In this case, we will set up our screen to any size that we prefer, and we will make one turtle called my turtle. Head in and with speed zero. So uh, it's uh, actually up to you with the setup of the size and with the width of any size. Uh, in this case, we were just going to use wn as a variable equals to tur turtle screen. And set up 500 by 500 in this case. And then background color to black. And then my turtle All right. So to select a random color for the fireworks, we can actually make a list of colors so we can act, we can then take the random elements in the list and use that for the color of the fireworks. What well, we we're going to start by, well, making a list called colors and then writing down as many colors as you want. Well, if you want a detail, detailed list of colors that you can use, uh, we can actually go to the website, uh, it's called Trinket.io. There's a bunch of colors that you can actually use, and then you can take, you can see the name of that. And in this case, we're just going to add a couple of like uh, colors. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So I have blue, red, yellow, orange, purple, magna, pink, lime, green, gold, silver, and violet. So you can add many more as you like if you want to. Okay, so now we can actually uh, make some functions. So actually draw the fireworks. We have to create a function that will be called for each firework that we want to draw. The parameter of this function would be the turtle we are going to use to draw the firework. We can actually call that T. So that. So we were going to use two random numbers, X and Y, to move the turtle to that position. So uh, what I'm typing just now is actually creating two random position, which is the X and then the Y. Afterwards, we're going to generate random numbers using the random integers. And while well, we're going to specify the lower and the bounds, well, we already done that. So we are going to move the turtle without leaving a trace using panda before moving the turtle using go to x, y. So um, we have to pen up first before, or, or else we're just going to make the whole mess. 
and then we're going to thirty go to x and y like that so next we we're going to put the pen down and select a random color from the list we already have so t go to x well actually we've done that pen down And then after we did the pen down function, we're going to use the in, well the instruction random dot choice to select a random element from the list colors. So like that. Perfect. Finally, we will create a variable to store the size of the prior work by selecting a random value between, well, um, let's say. Well, 20 to 100 so that it doesn't interfere with the text where we're going to put it on top of the screen so okay so now we can actually create a fireworks the fireworks consist of 36 equal lines that rotate around the same point to create this firework the turtle has to draw a line then rotate. We can move the turtle forward, backward, and then use a for loop to do this. For i in range 36, we're going to first forward our pen, and then backward. And then right 10 like that so we finish all of these so we're done with the function uh, we can now proceed to call the function so call it as many times as you want and i'm going to use well 10 for my firework number so we're going to use a for loop to call this function repeatedly uh, for the parameter uh, we're going to use the turtle we defined at the beginning of the program so I in range 10. And then my turtle like that. Okay, so finally, let's code our message that at the top of the screen. So we're going to use the pen up and go to so we can move to the top in the center of the screen. Adjust the numbers depending on the size of the screen. Change the color to white since the background color is black. All right. So I will write the message using right and then the message happy 4th of July. Type the pen up first. And then, now, while well, you can specify other options, such as the font and then the position of the text and then what well, was the text as, uh, as what you want to type. Change those using align and center in front of equals the type size and weight. So after I type happy 4th of July, and then, This is my final code. And well, we actually finished everything. Uh, we have the function for drawing and also the pen up and the pen down. And then we um, create 10 fireworks. And then afterwards, we're going to generate happy 4th of July after all the fireworks.
So let's run it. So all the artworks are actually showing up and is in a different position. Each one has 36 strokes. And then at the end, there's like the happy 4th of July text. So that's it for the project. So that's for today. Well, hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our other videos. Well, also check out the other two while you're waiting for other videos. Okay, so see you next time. Bye.